When you arrive at the Active Lesson homepage, you can see the main e-texts that are included on the page that I have created that deal with veterinary anatomy. So the main anatomy interactive e-text is called Canine Veterinary Anatomy, and you can enter that. And this will take you to the topics page. So basically you can see this has a listing of all of the topics relative to canine veterinary anatomy and pretty standard topics that you can work your way through. And included in my interactive e-text are also lab assignments. So the vet students that I teach here at the Purdue University Vet School, they use these lab assignment parts of the interactive um, application to go through and do their lab assignments in the wet lab. So if you are to enter one of these topic areas, you can see that the general setup is there are lessons followed by lesson reviews, and then there's a series of quizzes which basically repeat some of the lesson review questions and they are over the lesson reviews, but there's also things that stretch the students such as radiographs and there's interactive radiographs, and then we always work very hard here with palpable landmarks, so we'll talk about those in a little bit. But one of the important keys about the active lesson approach is if you go into a lesson, these are interactive in nature. So if you go through and each page in a lesson, it's a controlled delivery of content, but it's also interactive. And by that I mean that the students have to read and they, this is no different than a textbook. They have to read and take up this important information, but oftentimes the information or all the time, for that matter, is included with interactive images. So for this example, it talks about the different types of vertebrae and click on the cervical vertebrae. And again, this is just an exercise to get the students not to just sit here and read, but do something interactive. And here's an introduction to the different parts of a vertebra. And you can say, let's read this. A schematic below may look like a little Martian dude, but it's actually a cranial view of the typical vertebra. The body forms the ventral base of the vertebra tap on the body. So you have to tap on the body to interact with this. So you have to act on what you just read. So things aren't just given to you and you look at it and you passively learn. You act on it. And then the, another key is with this active learning is you go to the next page and it says the vertebral arch is a thin bone that forms an arch dorsal to the body. Well, the body is what you just learned about. So now you have to act on that and I put it in here for a little guidance, but, but you get the general idea. They have to basically act and pick out the vertebral arch based on its description. So again, it's just a form of active learning that the students do rather than just in their passive, passively reading. And I have published a paper on this where I do show that this is an effective way of teaching anatomy. And here's the reference right here if you're interested. Now here's an example of a radiograph being used in in interactive fashion. So it's one way, and this is quite simple, but you'll, it'll give you the idea, there's one way to ask a student, what is the structure outlined in this lateral radiograph of the thorax? And, and they get questions asked in this fashion to build their way up, and it's obviously the heart. But another way to ask them is to outline the heart. So with this, this is a unique feature of active lesson where they can take this cursor and they can go in and actually draw an outline of the structure that they've been asked to identify and then check their grading and you can see that um, I got that correct. But again, this is just this automated graded function of the interactive active lessons drives their knowledge a little bit deeper than the simple question of what is this? Well, this is the heart. But again, you can drive it a little further by making them actually draw it and these are automatically graded. One of the other features of the Active Lesson platform are interactive hotspots, and these can also be graded or ungraded. But I had mentioned earlier that we implement a lot of topography, and even though it's online, and I use this platform for my DL vet tech students as well as my on-campus veterinary students, one of the things I really like to work them on is just expectations of where you're going to find these palpable prominences. So you can see here, palpate the spine of the scapula on the image of Roxy below. So again, there is no indication, but they have to have a general knowledge to know where that spine of the scapula is. So they can go through and kind of drill themselves. And, and while this doesn't replace hands-on palpation of an animal, it does give them a good idea of practicing where they will expect to see these palpable prominences. 
There's also many supportive videos within the platform that um, the students can use to further their understanding, and there's things such as movement and animal lab animal dissection and palpation videos to support the lesson and quiz material. So to summarize some of the highlights of the active lesson veterinary anatomy applications, it, it utilizes a controlled interactive delivery of the subject content. And then there's a variety of interactive quizzes over this lesson material using a lot of clinical applications, interactive hotspots, interactive radiographs, et cetera, and videos. And one thing we didn't cover is that instructors can track student progress through the app via downloadable CSV files. Now, I use this for quizzes, I use this for homework, but it's a good way to make the students do certain things before a lecture and kind of turn the classroom around. There's also, if you look at the main page, I showed you some of the highlights from the carnivore application, but there's two main veterinary anatomy interactive applications. The canine anatomy app that I use here at Purdue with the veterinary students here at Purdue. And there's also a comparative of veterinary anatomy app that I use here with the Purdue on campus uh, veterinary nursing students. And I use it in my DL veterinary nursing students as well. And if you're interested in that, we can go over that and I can show you how I've implemented some quizzes along through the app and a lot of self-learning and self-guided type things that the students seem to like. Student reviews of the Active Lesson Anatomy application are extremely positive, and if you'd like to see them, I'd be more than happy to share them with you, but they've been um, really super positive. And if you'd like to see a desk copy or you have any questions or you want to look at the apps, email me at hannonk.purdue.edu or go to the website at www.activelessonhq.com.